Hey there, Angie M. Just thought I'd open this and send something I'm excited about from Cloth and Paper. Uh, this is a first order. Uh, fun fact, I actually ended up with three. So I I uh, spent enough there to have gotten an early access to their Black Friday. Then there was some more things that I wanted. Well, there was one thing I wanted that had nothing to do with their Black Friday. And then I ended up with their Black Friday. And then their, some of their dots, they are actually going to be sunsetting. So I stocked up on my favorite dots, which I don't use as often as you would think, but when I do use them, I go through them pretty quickly. So there we go. But I am super excited about this one. The Academia kit from Villa Beautiful has shipped. I'm also waiting on some other things. I don't know. Do you guys have any interest in, in hearing about that? I know I try to avoid shipping. Oh, this is the first cloth and paper pouch I've gotten. I've seen this. I've heard some people talking about it. I didn't realize it was coming. I, what do you guys use this stuff for? I don't actually use pouches for anything. I mean, I like it, but I don't know how to use it. So we grab this stuff. Ooh, I've had this guy before. I actually really do like these. Same thing with this guy I've had before. And then I've got this guy recently. My billing stuff you don't need to see. And then, uh, let me make you wait. So I'm really excited. I should have ordered another set of these. I don't remember seeing when these guys came out. I don't even know what colors they are because I did not pull the site up. So this is palette volume nine. Let's just see if I can pull this up here quickly. Why is nothing on my big screen? Nothing cycled on my big screen, which is weird. So give me one sec. No? Why are you not registering my monitors there? All right, either here nor there. We will stick with the small screen, which is not going to take me where I want to go. All right, so new arrivals is where I saw it, and it's actually on their their print on their front page for new arrivals, as are their page pins, which are coming in a separate order that I really wanted. I'm gonna go view all. So new arrival. It was down at the bottom. Lychee cashmere and nude. So lychee cashmere nude. I really like these aesthetically. This it, this is perfect. Like this is beautiful. I should have ordered multiples because I can see myself actually really, really using the daylights out of these. Just a fun fact. And then I did also get this guy, the bookmark. I just thought it would be fun to have. I was swatching some nude stick stuff. My Target has an Ulta. I did buy some nude stick stuff. All right, I'm just gonna get that off of there. <clears throat> garbage over there so I like the idea of a page flag oh I really like that too so here is my planner it's falling out that is a pumpkin spice villa beautiful so I like the idea of you know having that or having it in one of my notebooks even, you know, maybe I have like daily pages. Maybe I just want to keep some daily pages together and being able to throw that in there and have that in there as a quick bookmark. Oh, I really, I really like that. Oh, I really like that. Oh yeah. I mean, it'd even be a great way to like mark the day you're on. I don't tend to flip through all of my days a lot. So like maybe I'd put up here on the daily. And then, you know, I just, I'd know, or maybe I'd put it on the past pages, you know, if it's like on this day. I, oh, I'm liking that. I actually really like the feel of that too. Okay, so I'm, I'm, I'm excited about that. I wasn't sure how I was gonna feel, I wasn't sure. And then I did pick up their pouch because I want the green pouch that's on the inside. So if y'all have been with me for a hot minute, you know I love planner supplies, pens, pouches, all of that. I thought this was really cool when I saw it. I'll just cut this off super quick. 
So this is the everyday carry-all pouch. Oh, maybe I'll keep that and just shove it in there. So. Ooh, those open nicely. So, you know, nice plastic so you can put all of your stuff in it. But then it has this little guy and this little guy snaps. And I just thought he was so cute. No pen case left behind. <laughs> I was watching Trolls with my daughter. She likes the Bergens. So I've got my pens here. This is actually one from cloth and paper. And it's not like an everything carrier, right? It won't fit the Tombos. But I just wanted to see, like, if I wanted to... With the exception of the big guy here. Let's see. Okay, so maybe, maybe it's a little too much. I mean, although if I'm not closing it... If I'm not closing it, if I'm just leaving it like that and throwing it in here, and then there's a little, if you want to put a little accessory there, you got a little, little hole. Like if I'm just doing this with it and throwing it in here, with like some other stuff like those guys, and then doing that. Y'all, that's, mmm. I think I just found a new love. Even if it's like this and goes in my bag. Ooh. I didn't want to like it this much. I kind of wanted to dislike it when I got it. I mean, I really like my leather case. That's that's from Portland Leather Goods. That's, you know, that'll never really leave. But I just wanted something a little bit different. This offers me a little bit more so that I can carry some other things. Mmm. I like this. I like this. I didn't think I was gonna like the plastic outer pouch, but I do. And I like the idea of, you know, like maybe I wanna throw that in here. Like, what do I always need with me, right? So what do I always need with me? So a highlighter, permanent pen, black pen, and probably my, my pink and my purple. Now, if I'm gonna carry this se just separately, I probably want my scissors too. These guys I might like consider bonus things. So we've got this in here and that actually feels like it's kind of reinforced. So I like that. So I can put these guys in here because yes, I need them. Are they something where if I just have to grab something, what's gonna come with me? Probably not. So I'm using my cloth and paper pocket as you saw and it doesn't have a second pen loop. So this guy is homeless in there. I always find that I do kind of need scissors at times so the scissors go in there and then the little guy goes in there and that snaps closed just fine. There's a little pouch. There are little pouches in the front for things if you want. And then this little guy can just slip right into my bag. And oh my God, I love it. I'm in love with, I'm in love with this. I, I don't know how else to say it. Cloth and paper, like, like I am clapping for you because I absolutely love this whole, this whole getup. I think that this was a fabulous idea. I don't know whose idea it was. I don't know if it was Ashley's. I don't know if it was somebody else had seen something similar, but this is, this is good. This is good. Y'all, y'all did great with this. Do I want to see it in different colors? I personally love the olive, but I mean, yeah, olive's not somebody's jam. Like if you had it in black or in white, you know, like that, I, I could see people really gravitating towards this. I think you guys got yourself a really nice product here. I think you got yourself a really qual a really qualified product, as, as we would say. Don't know what I'm gonna do with this. I appreciate this though. I mean, it is an upgrade from tissue paper and you know, I guess what I could do is I could put my pocket in it because this is a really nice pouch. Like if I, if I were worried about this or I were throwing it in something that maybe I were worried, you know, it could get damaged or I wanted to put some other things in there at the same time. You know, maybe like that and you know, just keep everything together. I could do that. I could easily do that too. I really like that. I like the, I, I am pleasantly surprised with how I feel about everything that I got in this order. And then see the problem is on my phone, I can actually visually see what's in my shop app, but I, I don't think I can see what is in it just online.
what is it, Shopify? Is that what that is? Yeah, I think it's Shopify. I don't want to build my own store. I have no idea what my No, so I can't. So I don't know what the app is that I have that tracks like my packages and stuff. I, I think it's by Shopify, but I don't actually, like I can't get into a Shopify account. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna store this. I really like that. And that's, is this what we call embroider? Is that, is that technically embroidered? Yeah, that, it looks, it looks like it. You know, like those nice shirts and stuff that people get is, as rewards and gifts, like I really, really appreciate. I, I like it. Again, I like it. I could see myself finding it functional. If I needed it, it would be something that would be good to have. So that was that was that order. I'm actually really, really, really pleasantly surprised. I'm going to be organizing my Villa Beautiful pens and I'm tempted to kind of film that for you guys. But last time I tried to film it, it was quite difficult to actually film, but maybe I will. I had put the color... I'll, I'll save it. I'll save it for another video, but that video might be coming. But yeah, I, you know, it's, it is a hard, it's just a hard plastic outer. It's, it's not really anything that I would say you could write home about. I'm not going to call it waterproof because it doesn't seal completely, but it, I could see it being water resistant. Like if something, you know, got on the front or, you know, on the bottom, you would be fine. Again, it holds bigger accessories. I like that. And there's room even after you put the, even though it doesn't look like it, there's still room after you put the pouch in. You know, so if you had a notepad or something, that could go in there. As I say that, I do have a notebook that I was using in the back of my other planners. And I wonder how he would fit in there. Yes, hello. Oh, you smell delicious. I'm just going to sniff my Bianco Napa from, from, Vanderspeck, it's, oh, it smells like cowhide. Oh, the buffalo leather does not have that smell, and the Janet leather has a scent I don't like, but there is something about the Napa. Oh my gosh, you guys, it smells, like you pick it up and it's like new car smell. And I've had it for a while now, for a little bit. And it still smells beautiful, and I just broke my nail. All right, well, we're gonna, we're gonna do too many things at once. Welcome to my channel. So I just injured my nail. So I'm just gonna just do a little shivy shavy on that. And then I am going to come back to what I was doing. So I've got from Cloth and Paper, I have this Everyday Carry in Pocket Plus. And I'm just wondering, oh yeah, she'll easily, she'll easily fit in there. So if you've got, you know, something like that, like the Pocket Plus, or if you've got something else, you know, maybe you've got just a monthly calendar that you like to have with you at all times, that would easily fit in here. You know, one of those little monthly flip books is about that size. Again, A plus. I'm giving this an A plus. I'm giving these an A plus as, as well. So, so good job, cloth and paper. Like I'm, pr like I'm proud of you. I'm proud. This is a good product. I hope it sticks. I hope it sticks around because I do think it is a really good product. And I kind of rolled my eyes because I feel like a lot of brands lately had been coming out with pouches and things like that. And this one was just so different. And I liked when I saw the small pouch, but I didn't know how I'd feel about the big guy. And I was just like, you know, I'm no oh, eye roll. It's just a pouch. I have a million pouches. Who needs another pouch? And I like it. I like it. So I've got a pencil, I've got my, my juice brown pen, you know, I've got my Micron in there, which I almost never use, so I could probably even take that out, but I mean, like, everything I need is, is right there, and, and it's small, I mean, she's not, she's not super sized, right, it's what, about personal length, yeah, so, hmm. there we go, all right, well, I will catch you guys in the next one, maybe I'll just leave these right here, as always, I hope you and yours are well, and I will catch you in the next one.